I will never get tired of playing Angry Birds. Ah! My drill sergeant sense is tingling, but that can only mean one thing. Some full bird colonel in a military intelligence unit is forcing his soldiers to download an app that can do questionable things. How am I already sweaty? Ah! You know the saying, shit rolls downhill? Well, it must be true, because I used to be toppling generals, and now I gotta go after a full bird colonel. For you weirdos that are on ships and boats, there would be a captain. But look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Colonel Dietrich Trotter of the 504th Military Intelligence Brigade down in Fort Hood decided that an app that her genius little folks there created was so perfect and on point that everybody needed to download it to their phone. Get them on the same page. Make everybody work together. Cohesiveness. Cohesion. What are those bullshit words that businesses use to make them sound important? Synergy. You want to scissor synergize the shit out of your entire brigade? I guess that's one way to do it. But some issues popped up when some of the soldiers started looking through the app and realizing well, just how powerful that thing was. Well, the app keeps soldiers up to date on training and weather changes. Well, not so bad. It's not so bad. The app gives your chain of command access to all of your contact information, which ain't so great there, Colonel Trotter. I don't want some company or battalion commander contacting my mom or sisters or dad or best friend out in East Bumfuck, New York. Hey, Drill Sergeant High isn't here for formation. He's two minutes late. Do you know where he, oh, there he is. Hold on, never mind. Thank you, ma'am. Do you really need the contact information of every woman that I've slept with for the past, I don't know, 15 years? We're just gonna call him up and ask him how I'm doing in the set. Hey, how's Drill Sergeant Dong doing? That thing's on fire, isn't it? Oh, from Chlamydia? That's too bad. I guess we better put a red flag on his medical readiness. The app would also allow your chain of command to internally change dates and events on your calendar. If you're gonna go to the swingers party at 1700 on Friday night, you better put some weird slang in there and call it movie night with the human centipede. Tell me some private in that unit is gonna look through your contact information and your calendar and start messing with it. All of a sudden your mom's name is Booby Patrisa and that dental appointment you had is actually called prostate exam. Cause that's what I would do. Some of the other things this app can do is it can change your wallpaper. That's right. They don't want you to have photos of your dogs or that hot swimsuit model on there. They gotta make sure that it's something that's not gonna offend anybody. Like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. On top of all that, it can rewrite your memory cards. So that heartwarming moment of little Billy knocking that baseball out of the park is gonna be deleted by your chain of command because you don't have enough data available on your phone for the weather updates. They can prevent your phone from sleeping. Why would they do that? Unless I get it, so they can contact you at all hours of the night. I bet you the emergency situation that they're gonna get a hold of you for is that some E2 swallowed too much Jack Daniels and you gotta take him to the hospital because he's your soldier. No, get any four to do it. They are out drinking with him anyway. It ain't my fault. I'm ignoring your phone call for a reason. The soldiers and company that developed the app that are defending it state that all these things can be changed are in control by the client. Bullshit. When's the last time your command told you you were in charge and then they were micromanaging the shit out of you so you weren't really in charge when you were in charge? And I bet you $20 that I probably am not in charge of this fucking amp. At first, Colonel Trotter had a formation for her entire brigade informing them that they were gonna get that app downloaded on their personal cellular phone and battalion and company commanders would be checking their personal cellular device to make sure that it was on there. Though so that just doesn't sound right. Luckily for us, some random person decided to leak this information onto the interwebs and well, it created quite the shitstorm. So after the internet got a hold of that, the Colonel had a second formation where she admonished the person who put it online. Oh, I get it. You don't want to get charged for abuse of power. So you just want to keep everything in house. Keep a tight lid on that abuse of power. Got to keep a tight lid on that like a pickle jar. Can't let little, oh, they're abusing their power and they're overstepping their bounds in my privacy. They're forcing me to do things with my private property. Got to keep that pickle jar tight. I'm going to shut that fucking pickle jar up. I'm going to shut the fuck up. The colonel went on to say that this was never mandatory. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, colonel, didn't you say beforehand in your original briefing to your brigade that this was going to be 
Basically a sensitive item checked on by all leadership to make sure that you actually did download it. So what would have happened if they didn't? Seems as though there would have been repercussions if they didn't because you're making sure that their battalion commanders and company commanders are checking that that thing is on their phone. That sounds pretty mandatory to me. To back up the colonel, a brigade spokesman stated that there was no formal obligation in order for soldiers to download the app to their personal cellular device. Well, what else would you call your brigade commander telling everybody to download and that there's going to be checks, PCIs, PCCs? Oh, I get it. Since I'm not wearing a top hat right now, I guess I can't receive any formal obligations right now. I can't receive any formal obligations until I have a top hat. And I, you can't give them unless you got a bow tie. Keep it formal. One NCO was interviewed about it and said, hey, listen, I don't want them to have access to my photos or my videos because my wife sends me a couple nudies every now and again, and I don't want that thing plastered all over the brigade area saying, hey, check out Sergeant So-and-So's wife's hooters. The most impressive thing to come out of this story, the comments left by those who downloaded it and wanted to leave some feedback. One of these stunning reviews is left by James Gordon. He says, this is quite possibly the worst thing that the Army has ever created. Not only does your COC, your chain of man spend 24 7 thinking of new and interesting ways to screw you now they want unfettered access to your phone all your data any relevant personal information and the small piece of your soul that you still have left retention ncos for the brigade probably hate their lives if this is what the chain of command comes up with for your phone just imagine what being in that unit is like jeffrey adds dumpster fires have a bigger fan club than this invasion of privacy Retention clearly must not be an issue anymore with required downloads on personal property of the soldier. OER bullets should read, accountability was kept on all soldiers at 100% all the time. I hope you make. And Cody Norwood seals the deal with, loving this app from Russia. Thanks for the up-to-date info and easy to target on secure location. Please, make this DOD wide. I don't need a GPS to tell me that every specialist is chilling out in the barracks instead of at their dental appointment they told me they were going to and skipping PT. I got it. Heaven help you if you take the boys out to a titty bar in the middle of town and your chain of command beep 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 beep. Oh, he's at a place that's off limits. I wonder if the thing can track your heartbeat. If so, I'm gonna do a lot of extracurricular activities to make him think I'm having a heart attack. The 504th Military Intelligence Brigade, Brigade, like Ruth Gator Ginsburg, like Ruth Gator Ginsburg, like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. In a bikini?